Hello there. Hi, everyone. Welcome back. Carol here again. Um, well, I wanted to record this video a long time ago. Um, this is an update on how I print and cut my own custom designs using Illustrator and the Silhouette Studio. I do not have the, the designer version. I have the regular one that comes along with when you purchase a machine. And I never purchased a plugin because I just never got it to work. So this is how I've been working lately for my print and cut. Um, so forget the previous video. Forget it. <laughs> I mean, it will work most of the times, but I found out this was a lot easier. These are part of my Dia de Muertos um, package that I sell in my Etsy shop, just in case you're interested. And this is my little Frida. She's, in, she's not yet on the Etsy shop, but she will be. Um, there are two ways I currently uh, do my print and cuts with my own drawings. Um, one way is to export each of my drawings as individual PNGs. So in order to do that, I it's, it's a little bit time consuming, especially if you have a lot of drawings. You need individual art boards, like so. Let's say I'm just gonna draw this like this. So maybe this one goes here and this one will go here and so. I mean, you can just resize that up or for two, but I just wanna show you and so on, right? So you need to have every single drawing in a separate artboard and then click on file, export and save that as a PNG using the artboards. And once you export that, make sure it's the background is transparent, right? Once you've done that, then you go ahead, then you just click and drag your PNGs. So there goes one, and then one of my papel picados. What about the banner? Okay, I'm gonna use those, right? And then all you do, let me just close this, zoom in, then what I do is I just go to the trace option, which is already built in my Silhouette Studio, and I select my trace area. Super easy, oops, there you go. So I need, there you go. Okay, so most of the color is highlighted in this yellow, super bright color. Um. There you go, oops, no, perfect. That is more than perfect. And now I'm just gonna click on trace outer edge. Now it should work, see that? Good, and then you go ahead and do the same thing for the, um, the papel picado banner and this banner right here. It should work, you have to sort of like tweak around it. That is one way and it will work if you're like doing separate, um, maybe you want to make a template with maybe, I don't know, three of these. It doesn't work like Illustrator, but there you go. Um, and maybe you want four of those, I don't know, right? That is one way. Let me go back to Illustrator. Or you can just go ahead and create your template or your whole page just using Illustrator. So maybe I just want to use my little Frida and my sugar school right here. I'm going to move those to the side a bit. I want to save some time, especially if you're um, used to using Illustrator and it's a lot easier for you to use Illustrator rather than the Slut Studio when, well, then you're just like me. I don't know. And I bet if you try to do this using the Slut Studio, it would take a longer time or maybe you wouldn't be able to use the whole page or make the most out of your page. Um, and maybe I just want to add this down right here. I don't know, right? It's up to you. And once I've done that, then I just go ahead and export this as a PNG again. And I'm going to use the artboard. I'm just going to drop this on my desktop. It's a lot easier for me. Um, Print and cut example. I'm sorry about my desktop. I know, I know it's horrible. 
Same thing, transparent, make sure the resolution is really high. The higher the better, and while I know the highest is 300 ppi, which is points per inch, I'm gonna hit OK. Then I'm gonna go ahead and switch back to my Sled Studio. And just as I did with the previous element of P, Q, or S, yes, I do have to do that. <laughs> there it is. Okay, mm -mm -mm. ta da! Nice and pretty. And then I just go ahead and use Leg Trace Area. So I can just select my sugar skulls and then change all that the threshold and the <clears throat> and and the high pass filter and so on. And I can have just that in one step. And then I can go ahead and do that. The my little Fridas in another step. Same thing. I can adjust accordingly. There you go. This will work better. Oh, finally got it. I can do this individually, and then I go ahead and click on trace out and outer edge again, and it works almost to perfection. I mean, what you can do is you can select out of all of those which one works better, and this one was best, and then you can just use that and copy that, and then I'm gonna do the same thing for my banner, right? And the advantage of doing your own print and cuts this way is I discovered that when doing my previous version was which was tracing these and then use exporting the cut lines as a DXF file like so um, you would get tons and tons and tons of editing points and the machine just had a really hard time cutting that. So that's why I just shifted to, to, to this method. So I hope this works better than the previous video. If you have any other discoveries, please, please, please go ahead and share, comment below, tell me what you think, if this works better for you or not, or if you just switch back to the previous method. Um, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye.